Hey buddies, Sumnut Sky here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're really quickly going to teach you about the structural support mechanics in this game, how to identify what parts of your structure are weak, and, uh, and how you can reinforce those. And it's actually a very simple, quite nice mechanic, which I didn't discover immediately, and which may not be immediately obvious to you guys. But we're going to talk about that a little bit now. So in Valheim, structural support is a, is a key factor in building, uh, you know, in, in building. Because if you do not have the right structural support, you won't be able to build. Pieces that you place will just automatically break if they don't have the right amount of support. So what you're seeing now, or what we're going to do, is we're just going to build a really simple sort of like plank. Walk the plank, my friend. And what I'm going to show you with this is... Uh-oh, I don't... <laughs> That wasn't intentional, I promise. We're gonna roll with it. Okay, so if you have something that's uh, blue, right? If I am in build mode and I hover over, we're gonna go to the repair so you don't have uh, anything blocking the way. If I hover over this, you see that it looks blue. Blue means that it's directly connected to the ground and it can be sort of like a foundation of your structural support. Now, if you move on to the next one here, you'll see that this is now green. Green means that it is not sort of connected to the ground. It is not a foundation or a foundation of your structural support. But it is perfectly, uh, perfectly uh, structured. It is perfectly held up by the current foundation. Um, so this is fine. Green is perfect, and then you move on, and it's going to get yellow, and then you can move further, and it's going to get red or orange. Um, basically, once it gets to a point where it's red here, uh, then you're not going to be able to build much past that. Now there is, this may be the orange, this may not be full, I think this is full red. I don't think we're going to be able to build anything else here. Um, that may well break. Nope, okay, so that was the last piece that we could build on. So that was the orange one, so we've got our blue, we'll go through it again, we've got our blue foundation, blue foundation, green perfectly supported, yellow getting a little bit sketchy, orange we can get one more thing on that and then when it's this deep red color you're not going to be able to build anything else on that at all and it will just automatically be destroyed pretty much immediately after you place it now once you get to this point you can uh, get your supports and you can then support that with a with a beam like that as an example and we should now have blue uh, we should now have Blue, green, yellow, uh, slightly greener yellow, and green. So there isn't just like four set colors, there are varying degrees of these colors, um, but essentially you now understand how the support mechanic works, and how to identify what parts of your structure are weak, and therefore how you can fix the structure that you're currently working on to do what you want to do. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I've been streaming Valheim on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy, most days at least a little bit. And it would be awesome to see some of you guys there. We go live one o'clock pretty much every single day, except I have been taking a few days off recently to get these Valheim videos, because we're doing a Valheim video a day. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.